Chicago has plenty of historical sites to offer, but some of them are not as well known as others. In his new book, A History Lover's Guide to Chicago, Greg Borzo tells the stories behind some of the city's hidden historical sites. And Greg is with us to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so let's talk about our list. I know one of the things on this list is, uh, is a, uh, I don't know what order we have our pictures in, but uh, a Confederate monument, a Confederate monument in uh, Union territory. Well, it's quite a story behind it. It's, uh, it's actually in a cemetery. It's a mass grave uh, of uh, Confederate soldiers who actually died at the Camp Douglas, which was a prisoner of war camp right here in Chicago. Wow, and that was in Lincoln Park, right? And and they moved. Is it is it the largest mass grave? Like what? How many bodies did they move to you know, 67th at, and Cottage Grove? At least 4,000. That's wow. how many names are etched on the monument. But uh, estimates go up to 6,000 Confederate soldiers buried at that site. Largest mass grave in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, and that is at Oakwood Cemetery at 67th yes. and Cottage Grove, right? Yes. Wow. All right. The next one you wanted to talk about was a, a house from the Gilded Age, the Glesner House. The Glesner House, a beautiful home on the uh, in the Prairie Avenue Historic District. And it looks quite different than the homes of that period from the outside. It's, it's uh, not your typical Victorian style. It's uh, a very uh, unique a rustic house and has a beautiful courtyard on the interior. But what was, this was um, a very wealthy area before we, uh, what we come to know as the Gold Coast on the north side, correct? Correct, the, you had uh, Marshall for? Fields and, yeah. and George Pullman mm. and of course uh, the Glesner family. Uh, the Glesners made their money in uh, ma uh, making farm equipment mm. for uh, the Midwest as it was uh, growing. Uh, in the 1880s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. So they decided to, to move to that street, Prairie Avenue, because it was so uh, well-known for wealthy people. Hmm. All right, you also talk about grain elevators uh, that date back oh, yes. to 1840s. Talk about that. Grain elevators. They're actually our, our first skyscrapers in Chicago were these uh, huge uh, collections of, of silos here on the screen, you see the Santa Fe Railroad uh, grain elevator, and it had uh, over 40 of these 100-foot uh, silos uh, to handle uh, grain and flour and, and uh, other uh, commodities like that. How is and, it? And they're, they're not in use anymore, right? Or I mean, have they? Correct. They have been uh, long since abandoned, and uh, most of them uh, have been torn down. At one point, there were dozens of huh. these. Uh, grain elevators, uh, uh, many of them right downtown, even on the lakefront, on the riverfront. Mm. Uh, but today they're just old uh, relics and maybe will soon be torn down. There's one in the West Loop and there's one at Damon at the river on the south side. All right. And quickly about the, the Nike missile sites that still exist. How about that? Yes. In the 50s, they installed Nike missile sites around the country, especially in Chicago. There were four Nike missile sites in Chicago right along the lakefront. And this uh, is what you're seeing on the screen here is one uh, uh, Nike missile, the only one that's on display anywhere in the Chicago area. It's down at the Powers Recreational Site in Hegewich. And these, were, these missiles were designed to shoot down Russian bombers. Right. Never had to use them. Thank goodness. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's interesting. He, he, it's a history lover's guide to Chicago, but I like how you say, if you're looking for, you know, the best donuts in town, this is not for tourists. This is like <laughs> insider uh, stuff that you didn't know was hiding in plain sight. So thanks so much yes. for being with us, Greg. Thank you. Yes. When I tackled this book, I thought I knew a lot about Chicago, but I learned a lot more in doing it. That's awesome. Great. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Thank Greg. you.